Recently, I've been pondering over the orange treats I've prepared, as well as dehydrated oranges. During my search for images for a special cake, I stumbled upon incredible creations. These discoveries led me to creative associations, imagining how this cake could become the centerpiece of a well-crafted patchwork project. Additionally, I envisioned images of banners that would fit perfectly into this scenario. With this plan in mind, I decided to incorporate this project into my kitchen, specifically on the induction stove, which measures 60 by 60. The foundation of the project was carefully outlined, considering all aspects. Although I initially thought of using shades of orange, this approach encountered a challenge, the lack of fabrics in that hue in my home. Thus, I returned to the essence of patchwork, using assorted fabric scraps. Surprisingly, the final result surpassed the original idea in its uniqueness. In order to bring this vision to life, I divided the project into four distinct blocks. One block would be dedicated to representing the cake, while the other three would house the banners. Creating the triangular templates involved selecting colorful recycled fabrics, while the rectangular templates were all crafted from a white fabric adorned with subtle leaves. Regarding the fabric strips, I calculated and cut four strips, each measuring 5 cm, aiming for a perfect fit. The next step involved fitting the banners. Moving forward, I emphasize the stage of assembling the templates according to the preliminary orientation, maintaining a margin of 0.75 cm for each piece. The composition of the blocks resulted in a charming pattern, highlighting the harmony of colors and shapes. The central block has the appearance of a windmill. Upon reaching this stage, I worked with colorful and white fabrics in four instances of each, resulting in a harmonious arrangement. Completing the blocks, the rest of the project required three fabric strips, each measuring 7, 5 centimeters. Lastly, the time came to apply the cake. Each cake piece was carefully shaped with the addition of an extra centimeter of fabric on each side, in order to enable folding and stitching around the template. 
During this phase, I used paper to stabilize the fabric while performing the joining stitches, employing a delicate zigzag stitch. The result is a flexible cape with an incredible appearance.
I began quilting with a regular presser foot, around the banners and cake outline, enhancing the project's aesthetics.